Welcome to the St. Brendan the Navigator community in the parish of St. Joseph. We have seen unprecedented times as we confront an invisible virus that has caused us to think about how we live our lives in a different way and prioritize what we need right now in our lives and in our families. As we begin to reopen our churches for daily Mass on June 8th and in the near future for public Masses on the weekends, we need to take precautionary measures to ensure the safety and well-being of all of our parishioners. This will take a lot of patience and understanding. This video will demonstrate how we need to follow the guidelines of the Diocese of Norwich and the state mandates to ensure the safety and health of us all. My prayers and special blessings on all of you as we reopen our churches for public worship on weekdays, on June 8th, and eventually on weekends when approved by the state and the diocese. On behalf of our parochial vicars, Father Tony and Father Henry, and our deacons, I ask God's blessings on all of you during these difficult and very challenging times. As we continue to cover the procedures and safety guidelines for the reopening of weekend worship, it's important to always remember that no one is obligated to attend a Mass during this pandemic. Per Bishop Cody, you can fulfill your ordinary Sunday obligation by making a spiritual communion and watching a live stream of the Mass. Anyone who is sick should not attend Mass. If you're coughing, sneezing, feverish, have any chronic lung-related disease or are immunocompromised, please stay home. Your temperature may be checked at the door with a non-contact thermometer. Over 100 degrees means a fever. The doors of the church will be left open in order to allow for better circulation of air throughout the building and to give everyone enough room to avoid contact. Please wear a mask prior to entering the church. If you have your own hand sanitizer, please use it upon entry to the church. If you don't have any hand sanitizer, some will be provided to you. A mask is required for anyone able to wear one at all times during the mass. If you don't have a mask, the church may provide one as long as supplies last. A small donation is suggested if you receive a mask from the church. If you choose not to wear a mask, and there is no medical reason preventing you from wearing a mask, we ask that you please watch the mass from home. There will be one box for the offertory as soon as you enter the front doors of the church, and one in the back door where it is handicapped accessible. Please place your offertory envelope check or cash into one of these two boxes before Mass begins. If you have a family, they may be seated together in the same pew that has the yellow marker on top of the pew that is open. The seats that are open have strips of yellow five inches long on the top marking the place where you need to be seated. If you see yellow tape across the pew, it simply means that you cannot sit in that pew as we are social distancing by six feet, north, south, east, and west. I repeat, on top of the pews, there are five inches of yellow tape indicating where you may sit in the pew that is open. Please do not remove any tape that is on top of the, the open pews or across the seating closed. There will be no choral or congregational singing. The organist or cantor will do the singing and responses. This is the reason why all missalettes and songbooks have been removed from the pews as to assure no contact. The Lord be with you. With Let us now share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. For the sign of peace, please do not shake anyone's hand or embrace anyone. We ask that you wave, bow, or nod your head and say peace to those around you. The Lord be with you. The guidelines from the diocese state that the distribution of Holy Communion will take place after the final blessing when Mass has ended. The priest will take his chasuble off and proceed to the tabernacle and will take the Blessed Sacrament to the altar. The priest and or deacon will then distribute Holy Communion to the faithful. It is important that as you come up to receive that you remain six feet away from the person in front of you. Please come up the aisle in a single line, six feet apart, following the marked areas for social distancing to receive Holy Communion. We strongly recommend that everyone receives in the hand to ensure the safety of the priest, 
other parishioners, and yourself. You are receiving on the tongue. Please do not receive until the very end of the communion line so as to avoid the possibility of contamination. In the event that a priest or deacon touches your hand or your tongue, he will immediately use Perel or 70% or greater alcohol to disinfect his hands and wipe them with a towel. Never reach and take the host from the priest or deacon. This is never permitted. If you insist on receiving communion on the tongue, despite are asking you not to do so for the safety of the priests and for the other people in the uh, in the parish then after everybody is finished taking communion in the hand come up and it will be administered to you on the tongue when receiving the eucharist on the tongue do not leave your tongue inside your mouth that's the wrong way to do it instead stick your tongue all the way out so that the priest can place the host on your tongue. If you wish to remain in the church for prayers of gratitude for what you just received, please return to your previous seat. Make sure you sanitize your hands again when exiting the church. Please use all exits, making sure you are socially distancing from others. When you return to your vehicle, you may remove your mask. These guidelines and procedures are meant to assist everyone by ensuring the safety and health of all in the cluster. However, there are particular specifications that apply to each parish because of their unique sacred space and doors for entrance and exit. For example, St. Paul and St. Joseph and Our Lady of Grace use yellow to mark seating, while St. Mary Parish uses the color blue. May God bless you and keep you safe and in his loving care.